Welcome back to another episode of Fixing Tech on My Kitchen Table. Um, today we've got a Sega Game Gear, uh, which has got the old common cap problem. Um, basically, um, it, it's, the the screen is really dim uh, when it comes on. It doesn't look too bad on camera actually, but um, yeah, it's, it's not great, and the sound's gone as well because the caps. Um, it, it looks actually a lot better on camera than it actually is. To be honest, to see it properly, I have to play it at this angle um, for the game to be seen. So, um, yeah, I'm going to re be uh, replacing the caps on that and um, see how it goes. Back in a minute when I start taking it apart. Right, so I've got the, um, the main board out. I'm going to do the sound after I do the main board. But the main area we're going to be concentrating on is uh, these um, caps here, which are the um, the um, surface type caps with the um, the square. These are notorious for going bad and leaking. And likewise, there's a couple over here as well. Um, when you're replacing the caps, you need to get like for like on the um, microfarad scale. So, um, for example, that's a hundred microfarad micro um, cap. You need to replace it with a hundred microfarad. It doesn't matter about the um, the voltage. Uh, higher the voltage the better um, and then you replace it with a, a likewise cap such as um, this 100 microfarad um, cap so um, do, one of a, do one of them at a time so you don't know, lose where you are with the caps and make sure you get the uh, positive, and, positive and negative uh, legs in the right positions so um, it's going to be a bit awkward to film but um, yeah I'll give it a go. So the first one I'm going to try and take off is this 100 microfarad uh, capacitor here. I've already broken off the glue. The, the capacitor is actually glued to the bottom um, of the circuit board just um, with a little bit of glue. The glue's what 20 years old now, so um, it comes off quite easily. And the cap just needs to heat the pads up. To be honest, you could even just um, snip the uh, the wire get the final cutting. I think it might be easier just to snip the old wires off or just pull the cap off. I don't like pulling the caps off because I might pull off the pads as well, but um, this one does seem to be coming off okay. Yeah, and there it goes. So you can see when the camera zooms in, focuses properly. legs have come off there and if you look at the board came off just there so uh, quite a clean break so you just need to um, just put some uh, tin on the uh, on the pads pop in another 100 microfarad capacitor obviously the legs are far too long on this, um, so I need to um, sort that out, just cut them off a little bit. Obviously remembering which is positive and which is negative, so um, yeah, if I remember rightly, the uh, the positive is the longer leg on the capacitor, and the negative as the uh, line going down. I'm just going to double check that, but I'm pretty sure that's right, so just bear with me a second. Yes, I was... Um, I was right with the uh, the old capacitors. Uh, the marking here, the stripe, uh, that denotes that it's a negative, and the longer leg is the positive. So I just need to um, tin up the uh, the pads. It's a very old solder. Obviously on the board. There we go, so that's tinned up. It's got the leg to size.
be ideal if you had some sort of grabber to just hold the capacitor um, steady while you solder it. So obviously you can only do one leg at a time. Just need to spray those legs a little bit more. Just There we go, first one done. Piece of cake. Just to push that down to the board. So, just gonna go down, do each one. Um, and then hopefully it'll be done nice and sharpish. Um, one more note, when you pop in on your capacitors, obviously they're a bit longer and you're not, you can't stand them up because um, they're so high. You're gonna have to lay them down. Now, don't lay them down over these gold parts because that's where the poles um, the posts come for the um, for the case, so um, yeah, just uh, avoid that area. You might have to do some fly leads, um, but you should be all right to be honest. Um, yeah, so I'm um, just gonna do one at a time. Hopefully, yeah, I'll get each one uh, as we go. So uh, yeah. <laughs> You see, when I've broken this cap off, it's actually left the, um, the legs on the uh, on the board. So I just need to um, obviously take those legs off. Just need something to grab them as you heat up the pads. So uh, just heating up the pads and grabbing. Try with the correct hand. Right up. It just comes off with a solving iron on that one. Do 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 do
when you're uh, trimming the legs the um, legs only need to be long enough to um, to reach the pads because if you go over you might um, end up bridging uh, to another pad or to another um, component so you've got to be careful with that bit.
we've just had to do there. Um, all the flux is melted, so I've had to um, clean off the pad with all the flux just to reveal the um, the pad or the bare metal to solder to. So hopefully, it should uh, solder this way. when I um, pulled up the pad um, on the circuit board so it's got to be careful of that.
So um, that's that side done. Um, not great, and obviously I had the issue with this one here. Um, but yeah, just these last two two on this side. <laughs>
Mm, don't we are. We're getting out of a goal. Right then, so I've just um, temporarily put it back together and um, apart from the artifacts you see on the um, from the camera, the screen is so much brighter. It's, um, well, if I can turn it up, that's, that's the brightest it will go and it washes out, it's that bright. So, um, yeah, a significant improvement. Just need to do the, um, the soundboard and um, then we're good to um, stick it all back together.